looking at angle properties, supplementary angles. We have angle X, which is unknown, and we have this angle, which is 85 degrees. What do supplementary angles have to add up to? 180. Okay, so X, angle X, plus 180. I mean, sorry, plus 85, <laughs> plus 85 has to equal 180 degrees. Good. So we want to subtract. We want to subtract 85 from 180 to find the unknown angle. We're solving for x, and we get 95 degrees. And if we look at supplementary angles, the supplementary angles form a half circle, and the two angles are on a straight line, which equals 180 oh degrees. Gosh. Next, we're looking at complementary angles, and complementary angles form, so we have these two angles, we have angle M and angle 30, and what do they form? What kind a of angle? angle? A 90 degree angle, and what's a 90 degree angle? Is a right angle, right? Yeah. Equals a right angle. So if we have an unknown angle, and 30 degrees, the whole thing has to add up to 90, so how would we find M? 90 subtract 30. Good, because we know that M plus 30 equals 90. We need to solve for M. So 90 take away 30. So what's angle M? Good, angle M equals 60 degrees. Okay, here we also have the opposite angle theorem. Any angle that's opposite another angle, when they, they cross, are equal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so R equals? 70. 70 degrees. So if I tell you that this angle is 110 degrees, what would this angle have to be? 110. This would also have to be 110 because they're opposite. Good. Okay, now we have interior. That means inside the shape. Interior angles of a triangle. What do all three angles inside a triangle have to add up to? 180. Good. So we have Q. Let's call this R and S. All three angles in a triangle always equal 180 degrees. So how would we find angle Q? Okay, so we're taking 180 degrees, which is the total, and we're subtracting 50 plus 55, right? Yeah. <laughs> so 180 take away 105 degrees, because the sum of these two angles is 105 degrees, right? Yeah. And 180 minus 105 is 75 degrees. So angle Q is 75 degrees. So an isosceles triangle is a triangle where two sides are equal. If this angle is 75, then this angle also has to be 75 degrees. So let's test what we just learned before. Can you find the third angle then? What would we have to do? Uh, subtract 180. 180 from... 75 plus 75, right? What's 75 plus 75? 150. The sum of these two angles is 150 degrees. So we have how many degrees left over to add up to 180? Good, 30 degrees. So this angle would be 30 degrees. Yeah, so if equilateral triangle, we know that all three sides are equal, which means that all three angles have to be equal. Mm -hmm. And a triangle, we just... Add up, the interior angles add up to 180, so how would you find divide 3 equal? Three. Good, divide it by 3, and what do we get? 60. Good, 60 degrees, so x equals 60 degrees, this is x, this is also x, and this is also x. This one? Yeah. Exterior angle theorem, which is an exterior angle is the angle on the exterior, the outside of the shape. Yeah. Okay. So an exterior angle theorem... The sum of the two opposing, so these are the two opposing mm -hmm. angles, the sum of these two angles is actually equal to the, opposite, the exterior angle. Oh. So that's the rule. So we can simply just add 45 plus 60 degrees. Oh 45 plus 60 equals 105 degrees which means that B is equal to 105. But let's make sure that this is true. If we were just looking at this triangle, can we find this third angle inside the triangle? Yeah. What would it be? Um. Okay, we know that it's going to be 
180 minus the sum of these two, which we just did, which is 105. 180 minus 105 is 75 degrees. And we know that we now have supplementary angles, two supplementary angles here, 75 and 105. What should they add up to? Because they're on a straight line. 180. And they do add up to 180. So that's why this rule works. You can just add the sum of the two opposing interior angles. Corresponding angles actually form an F pattern. So if you draw an F, now we can look at the two angles that correspond, which means they're in the same position. Corresponding just means that they're in the same relative position. And we can also look at the two angles below. So if we look at this angle would also be equal to this angle. So corresponding angles are equal. They're the same. So if the pink angle here is 68 degrees, what's angle M equal to? 68 degrees. 68 degrees, good. And we can also label this angle here because it's opposite to 68, which is like your diagram. This would also be 68 degrees, and this would also be 68 degrees. Can you find the green angle now? Yep, we're going to subtract 180 from 68. Why? If I do that, that's a supplementary angle, which is 180 total. And what do you get? We get 112 degrees. So I know this angle is 112, this angle is 112, this angle is 112, and that angle is 112. Okay. So alternate angles form a Z pattern. And again, alternate angles are equal. They're the same. And they're on the inside of the Z here. So W would equal 83 degrees. Good. We've just drawn a backward Z. Now we know that this angle in here is equal to this angle because mm -hmm. they're alternate. Co-interior angles, just think of the letter C, co-interior. If we draw the letter C, co-interior angle states that the two angles that are on the interior of the C add up the sum equals 180 degrees. So to find X, what would we do? Um, subtract. Good, because we know that something plus 72 is 180, so 180 minus 72 was the answer. 108. 108 degrees. And those are the properties of angles. Aid with DoodleCast Pro.